If you're looking to buy a home here in the Inland Empire that has land, that has space, that has one, maybe an acre or more of land, then does it mean you're out of luck? Does, does that mean you're gonna have to go look somewhere else to find that? No, not necessarily. I mean, we do have options here in the Inland Empire that does have land, that has properties with one or more acres available and, and not for one or $2 million or anything. No, actually for less than a million. And in fact, in some cases, maybe even as low as 500,000. Hey, Jose here, your SoCal Realtor. If you are thinking about buying or selling a home, feel free to reach out. My team and I, we are here and ready to help you with your real estate needs. So, okay, some people think that, you know, look, if I'm looking for a house that, that has land, that has space, I'm not gonna find that here. I'm gonna have to go look, I don't know, somewhere else, somewhere out in the, in, in the desert, but that's not entirely true. We do have a few places here in the Inland Empire that does offer a home with land. Being totally honest with you though, some of those areas are going to cost a little bit more than others. I mean, depending on how the fancy the home or the area is, you know, that one might be a little bit more than this one. But the point is though, there are options available for you here in the Inland Empire. Uh, in fact, let's do this. Let's go ahead and jump on the computer and uh, take a look at some of these areas. All right, so go into the computer here. If we start with the first one, I'm gonna say start with uh, Colton. Uh, zooming in here, there's Colton. Uh, so Ritchie Canyon actually more specifically here. In fact, this street right here is Washington Street. I think it's street. But anyway, Washington right here that connects Colton to Loma Linda. Right there is, oh, get off there. Right there is Ritchie Canyon Road. And if we come down Ritchie Canyon Road, the first neighborhoods in here, well, nice. I mean, they definitely are nice. In fact, I actually, I'll show you really quick here. Uh, let's take a, drop our little guy right there. You know, you, you can see the homes here. They're, they're nice homes, no question about it. But you can see that's a decent sized lot, but it's not an acre lot. And, and, and that's what this video is about. So these, these are nice homes. Uh, all, all the uh, neighborhoods in this little area here are kind of like that. They're, uh, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say like built in the 1990s. Don't quote me on it, I might be wrong. I'm trying to go off the best memory I have here of it. But uh, kind of built in that age range. Uh, ni nice homes, but they're not acreage lots. If we go further down Ritchie Canyon Road, kind of coming down this direction, in fact, um, I want to say it's down this street if I'm remembering right, going by the map here, or well, I mean these are good, a little bit bigger uh, lots, um, some of them anyway, yeah, in fact you can see kind of that one here, but still we're, we're not talking like the, well no, I take it back, yeah, this is what I was thinking about, okay, so you know these are you know good sized lots, uh, they're, they're probably not, you know, one or two acres necessarily, but they are good sized lots. So I'll come down this street here. Uh, oops, went too far. But, uh, I mean, you can see, I mean, they're, they're, they're good size. They're good size. They're just, uh, they're, they're not the ones I, I want to really get a chance to show you. In fact, this area right here whoop, is a mobile home park. If we go just a little bit further down, down in this area, we'll say right here, uh, you, now you're starting to get some, some a lot larger properties down in here. I mean, you, you can see a lot, lot larger property. In fact, let's do this. Go into the, uh, there we go. If we go into the satellite view, you can see, look at that. Look at that. All, all the way down here, all the way down there. I don't know if you can see my mouse there, uh, but all those properties coming up here, good sized properties coming back here. Um, you know, they're just, the, the, the properties, the lots are going to be bigger. I mean, you're, you're going to have a lot better opportunity to find uh, properties like, you know, one, two acre, maybe three acres, probably not too much bigger. You might, you might be able to find four acres, maybe, but uh, one and two acres is probably going to be a lot more uh, typical of what you'll find in here. If you're looking for much bigger than that, now we're talking ranches and yeah, there, there are ranches down here. In fact, if we come back here, scrolling down along Ritchie Can. Yeah, there it is. Um, if we come right, let's drop our little guy right here. Uh, did, I, did I do it right? Oh yeah, there we go. So there's one of the ranches that I was, I was thinking of here. That's uh, the uh, unhitched ranch is the one right here. But um, yeah, scroll back out. That's a big piece of property. So yeah, the ranches are pretty big. Um, but, but again, along here in Ritchie Canyon, you will find properties one, two acres. Here's the nice thing about those properties is they're not overly priced. So you're getting a large piece of land. The homes are probably not necessarily the largest. You know, you're probably looking at a typical home, 1,500, 2,000 square feet. But in terms of pricing, 
I mean, we're talking maybe in the 600, 700,000 price range. I mean, you, you, not that you're not gonna find them more than that. I mean, those, those bigger properties, you know, a little bit fancier homes, or the, you know, and some of those are gonna be in the 900s, pushing the million dollar mark, but uh, but there are definitely some nice homes here. And I, I will say, you're, you're, you're gonna find some nice ones in here at or nice, nice size properties at, at pretty good pricing. Another one to, uh, to really look at here is if we zoom back out, uh, over here in Harupa Valley, there we go, Harupa Valley. Uh, so it's not necessarily a neighborhood, it's kind of kind of big parts of the city, but Harupa Valley, which actually it, it's fairly new in terms of being a city, they just barely incorporated back in 2011. Um, but if we look here, a lot of it is rural. Now, if we look over on the, the, uh, the eastern side of the city, that is much newer than, than I shouldn't say much newer, but it is going to be a little bit newer than a lot of the western side of Harupa Valley. But I would say a lot of parts of Mira Loma are going to offer you some of those larger, larger lots. You know, you know, one, two, maybe three acres. You know, that kind of a thing. But you know, in fact, if we kind of zoom in, let's see if shoot it over to the satellite. Uh, yeah, see a lot of these are more of your traditional properties. Where am I looking for here? Um, kind of, let's see, Whoop. let's go back to the, the map. I'm losing myself, but uh, coming back over here, I wanna say in the Mira Loma areas where you're gonna find more of that. See, in fact, if we come down here like this street, you can see, you know, these are deep properties. I mean, we're, we're easily talking an acre or more of, uh, of land here. You know, coming back here, I mean, look at this one right here. Uh, you know, they're, they're large pieces of land that they have here. And and, and these are a little bit older. Uh, not saying old, and it's not like the 1950s or something, not most of them. Um, but uh, they, are, they are a little bit older in, in terms of uh, age. You know, if we come down here, in fact, right, right down here, again, deep properties, maybe not necessarily the widest property, uh, but a lot of them are very deep, definitely offer some land. Um, you know, and, and here's the nice thing though, is with Harupa Valley is, uh, oh, didn't mean to do that, but uh, with Harupa Valley is, um, I'm messing myself up, it is the fact that you, you're not, you're not tucked away in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you're, you're right there. Harupa Valley has been doing a ton of growing. I mean, especially on this side of the city, a lot of newer stuff. Uh, you know, the, the homes are going to be more traditional in terms of lots and, and home sizes. Some of them are actually pretty nice homes, but uh, uh, but tons of shopping there. And, and the fact that you have uh, all of Harupa Valley, you have Riverside, literally, if we zoom back out, you have Riverside literally right next door. Eastvale literally right on the other side there. Noroco's, uh, Noroco? Noroco is right down below. So, I mean, you have a lot that's nearby. And, and the fact that you can get those properties like that at, at those pricing um, definitely uh, you know, definitely in fact when I say pricing I'm trying to think I, I want to say you're probably looking at very similar probably to uh, Ritchie Canyon in terms of pricing probably in kind of that six or seven hundred thousand dollar price range uh, which again for that much land it, which is pretty hard to find I mean you, you don't find that necessarily everywhere uh, not not here inside the heart of the Inland Empire so definitely a great opportunity there. Another one to look at here is uh, down in the city of Paris. It went the wrong way. If we come down here along the 215, so, you know, Ritchie Canyon is up here. Whoop, over there is Harupa Valley. Coming further down here to the city of Paris. And where are we at Paris? Oh, right here. So city of Paris. If we look over to the west side of the city of Paris, there we go, Mead Valley up here, a lot in Mead Valley, that area you're gonna find, in fact, kind of along this whole uh, side of Paris, definitely offers a lot of, uh, lot of options in terms of size of lots, size of uh, properties with land, um, you know, with, the, there we go, Lake Matthews, I was looking over here. So, in fact, there's more that you're gonna find tucked away back here to Lake Matthews. So, again, if we come in down the 215, whoop, all the way back here, um, you're going to find more properties. If you look though, notice it's a lot of brown, so it is a little more rural back here. Um, you know, but I mean, zooming in here, 
Uh, you're, you're definitely not looking at a neighbor being right on top of you. As you can see, they're pretty spread out, pretty spaced out there. But it, the, the one thing in terms of if you want to find a knock on that, and it depends on the person, I guess. Maybe, you know, some people might look at that and say, well, that's not a knock, Jose. That's, that's what I'm looking for. And others might say, yeah, that's a knock. And that is, it's it's a little rule because there, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, shopping, stuff like that that's all right here. Um, you know, a lot of what you're probably going to be looking for, if we go back to the map view, is coming back over here in this direction, coming back into the city of Paris. Um, you know, I mean, you might be able to come back over this direction, but, uh, um, uh, you know, toward Corona, toward, uh, you know, the shopping centers in here. But um, it, it is a little further out. It's a little more rural. But uh, again, it definitely offers a lot of opportunity there. I mean, the the, the uh, uh, homes they do come up, so it's not like you know, oh, there's five homes for sale, five homes in there, and they're never for sale, Jose. No, they, again, it's another another uh, area here in the Inland Empire that does offer uh, property. In fact, again, like I said, over here in Mead Valley, you'll find some more of those two kind of down this direction, but it starts to thin out. I don't think you're going to find as many down here, but. Uh, um, you know, again, the opportunities are there and, and very similar to the last two that we just looked at a lot of the homes that we're looking at here, you're, you're not looking at too bad of pricing, honestly. Um, I, I'm going to say you're probably talking like in the six, $700,000 range, honestly, probably, uh, might even find more of them in the six than the, than you will the other two. But, uh, it, again, for, for what you're looking at here and what you're getting in land, uh, not a bad price, not a bad price at all. Now, if we go a little bit further down here, uh, there we go, the city of Menifee, that's another one I would definitely say is worth looking at. If we look at Menifee, now Menifee, um, you know, a, a lot like we were finding in Paris though, because the first two we looked at, you're not very far away, uh, Ritchie Canyon, boop, you go right up Ritchie Canyon uh, Road right there, you're you're right in the city, everything's there. Same thing with Harupa Valley, I mean, you're, you're, you're in the city basically. With um, uh, with Paris, you were not. With, with Paris, you, you kind of had, back where it was at, where these properties at, you had a little bit of a drive to get to the city, to get into Paris, to get into whatever you wanted, uh, to go the other direction. Like I said, you're down in the uh, Corona, uh, Temescal Valley, actually, but you're down in Corona right there for shopping. Uh, Menifee is kind of the same way. It's a, it's a little bit of a drive, you know, to be able to find some of the... Uh, um, some of the the, uh, the the shopping opportunities here. You know, now, I will say with uh, uh, Menifee, there's been a lot of growth. I mean, Menifee has definitely done a lot of growing. Uh, in fact, honestly, this whole uh, Temecula greater community here with Menifee, Marietta, uh, Temecula, you know, there's been a lot of growing. So Menifee's done a lot of booming. There's been a lot of new homes going in, tons of new, new construction, new stores, new shopping. Um, with those ones, though, I'm not going to say you're going to get the bigger lots there. Again, they're more traditional, more typical seven, eight, nine thousand uh, square foot lots. Um, you, know, it, you know, the whole idea where your neighbors are a little bit closer. Beautiful homes, beautiful homes, but but your neighbors are going to be a little bit closer to you. Uh, but if you look at some of the older homes that are here in Menifee, like in uh, in this area here with uh, like Quail Valley, you know, going back this direction. I mean, you're, you're going to find some uh, uh, some larger properties. In fact, we'll, let's zoom in here. Uh, where are we looking here? No, these are not quite what I was looking for. Um, yeah, zoom didn't do a, a bad example for you there. Uh, again, they're, they're respectable, but they're not really what I was looking for. Um, here's a few. In fact, there, there's one you can see right here, this entire piece right here, uh, that one there. You know, these are a little bit smaller, kind of coming down here. Nah, not really what I'm looking for. Um, no, I don't want to go to that. Uh, in fact, oh, you know, another area here in Menifee too is coming down this direction. Now, these are all newer, the, these homes in here. Uh, in fact, all this right here is kind of a big shopping center for Menifee. It's the uh, uh, right off the freeway here on Newport Road. Uh, ton of, look at, you can see all the shopping, real major shopping area here. But if you come out this direction here, you, you can see 
that uh, again you're finding bigger pieces of property um, in fact that one's huge but uh, bigger pieces of property here coming out this direction you know still within the city of Menifee and, and, and like I was saying even if you're over here boop boop you're, you're still right there so um, you, you're not in the middle of everything it's not like you know you're gonna walk out eh, 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 right all the cars are honking and everything but but you're in a respectable distance you know meaning you're not going to go down and get a big mac and it's cold before you can get home so that that's kind of one of the nice things about menifee here but uh, um, again if we look the other direction though um, looking over here in uh, not sun city because again sun city is more uh, that, that's your, your retirement community here in Menifee, but coming out this direction more toward uh, Quail Valley, that one, again, that's an older area, it's bigger properties, just, again, like I said, you, you, you are a little further away, so if that's what you like, it's perfect, you're going to like that. If it's not, again, there, there's some more options, you know, looking this direction here, um, change it to the satellite, or get off the satellite, sorry. But, uh, you know, you can kind of look up in this direction here, too. I think you're going to find some more in this way. Uh, no, not those ones. Where is it? Oh, that's a, oh, this right here. Beautiful area here. The satellite doesn't show it to you, but there are beautiful new homes here, too, in uh, Menifee, all brand new. Um, you know, coming back this direction here. And again, you can see bigger properties. Uh, I mean, bigger pieces of land. Not necessarily the biggest home. You know, but uh, with that kind of land, I guess you could add on to the home pretty easily. And again, look at that. Whoop, you're right there. You're into the shopping. Um, and so, you know, that, that's that. Although I guess you're starting to get into Winchester there. But uh, uh, that, that's one of the nice things here is just the fact that there are some that are a little bit closer to town. Some that are not. Like I said, this one here, if you're looking at the Quail Valley homes, um, you, you're going to be a little further away. I guess you do have Canyon Lake that's kind of close and it's, um, you know, you could go there. Canyon Lake's not the biggest city. So, I, I mean, if you're really looking for, you know, the big stuff, then you're coming down to, uh, to into the town of, uh, of Menifee and, and uh, you know, looking for whatever you're looking for. In terms of pricing, though, honestly, for those homes, again, they're, they're not too bad. You're, you're probably looking at somewhere, uh, I'm, I'm going to say probably somewhere in that seven, maybe $800,000 range, probably the majority of them, I, I want to say in the $700,000 range, uh, you know, they're, they're not necessarily the oldest houses. I don't remember if I just said that, but, uh, I, I'm going to say probably the larger chunk of them, you, you're probably looking at somewhere, you know, something like, uh, 1970s, 1980s, you know, in terms of the, um, uh, age of the homes. I, I think, you know, some of the ones we were talking about in Harupa Valley, um, and uh, Richie Canyon, I think, is kind of a lot the same way. Paris is probably going to be. Th these ones might have, you know, a little bit newer. Eh, maybe Richie Canyon might be comparable. This one in Richie Canyon might be comparable. But uh, again, there there, are going to be a little older. So if you're looking at just my point, though, is if you're looking for, oh, I want a home built in the last 10, 15 years, these are probably not likely to be the ones that are going to give you that larger lot you're probably going to get you know i'm going to say seven eight thousand square foot lot um with uh you know for, for that uh, for that property now if we circle back up so kind of zooming back out whoop zip back up to 215 if we come back into riverside so again we were looking at harupa valley uh we looked at paris down here but if we come back into riverside down in this area of riverside kind of Kind of the uh, uh, Arlington Heights area, Woodcrest area, but down in this region, you're going to find a lot of larger homes or larger properties, I should say, because the lots, again, we're talking one, two acres. Uh, you might find some in that three acre range. Um, in fact, if we kind of go into the satellite uh, and start zooming in, you know where are we looking at so like like for instance there's one here's a couple of them um oop, no we don't want to go that way we're getting too much too much up there you know staying down here more toward this region you're gonna be able to find some of these bigger properties like uh, like uh i mean look at this one it's a huge property but uh uh again pretty deep pretty deep you know looking over here pretty deep looking over here this like i said this entire region down in here 
is going to offer a lot of larger homes. Uh, Arlington Heights, I was talking about, similar thing. You know, if we kind of zoom in, I mean, you, you can you can see that 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 one there, that one's just huge. That that one is just huge. Uh, hot bummer. I was going to try to show you from the driveway to give you a chance to see, but I mean, you can see it's it's back there. You, you can see the stables, uh, a lot of horse property back here. Hey, Google car. But, uh, uh, you know, again, pretty large property there. This is going to be kind of the area I'm going to say you're going to want to be looking at when it comes to Riverside to find the properties that have, uh, you know, larger lots, larger land. Uh, you know, if you, Riverside's huge, big, biggest city in the Inland Empire. I mean, there's like 300,000 people that live here in the city. But if you look here, kind of, kind of coming over here to Orange Crest, uh, you know, the uh, uh, Canyon Crest, Mission Grove, there you go, that's what I was trying to spit out. Mission Grove, if you look along this area, uh, definitely one of the nicer sides of Riverside, but you're, you're not looking at the, the acres of properties. You know, this whole side of Riverside, you know, nice area. Uh, up in here, the wood streets, you know, a little bit older, uh, kind of kind of more historic area, I guess, if you want to call it that, but uh, not, not big lots. And again, you can come this way over here to La Sierra, and, and, and that's that's not a bad area, but uh, you're not getting the property. This is where you're going to find large, large, uh, um, you know, large lots if, if that's what you're looking for. Definitely, definitely the area. Now, here's the thing, though. Riverside, it is a, it's not one of the cheapest cities here in the Inland Empire. We'll just put it that way. Uh, all those other areas we were just talking about, the, the nice thing is the fact that they're, they're, they're going to be a little bit better price, you know, six, seven hundred thousand, maybe eight hundred thousand you might have to spend to be able to purchase one of those properties. Here in Riverside, though, they're going to be a little higher. I mean, you're definitely, I'm going to, I'm going to go on a limb here and, and, uh, and say you're, you're looking at probably about eight hundred thousand dollars to be able to buy one of these. So uh, maybe even a little bit more, but I, I don't I don't know if you're going to find anything really much less than eight hundred thousand um, dollars. But uh, but they're there. They they definitely are there. So um, uh, def definitely a uh, an option to look at. And if we look up here, coming back up here to Redlands, uh, down on the south end of Redlands, South Redlands, Redlands Heights, actually kind of even crossing over the freeway. But this whole area down here. You'll find some some properties that have uh, uh, larger lots, uh, more land. Uh, you know, not, not necessarily all. In fact, I did a horrible job of zooming in on some of them. Mm, if we come over here, in fact, yeah, see, I know if we came over on this side, uh, it's a little more rural. You know, in fact, I, th I think some of these are more of your farms, uh, not farms, but uh, but the orange groves. Um, but kind of in that area is where you're going to find some of them. Uh, there's a few neighborhoods down in this area. I, I think there was a couple of them. Like, these are interesting. You come down over this direction. Um, some of these are real nice, but uh, a little, little bit on the higher side in terms of pricing, but, you know, large lots. Um, like down here you can see some, oh, sorry. <laughs> But down here you can see look at that I mean big properties you're just you're kind of you're kind of tucked away because that that area it goes down it goes down and uh, and you're, you're kind of tucked away there but I, I want to say more in this area is where you'll find some of those larger homes now now the one thing that about Redlands is um, uh, there it's not rural. Definitely of, of any of the cities we just talked about, this one is the least rural areas for, for these types of properties. Uh, it's just, they're, and, and, and they're a little bit older too, a little, probably a little bit newer than some of the other ones we were talking about. Because these ones, you're, you're probably looking at, I'm going to say like the 1970s maybe, something like that, and, and older, but, but as new as the 1970s were some of the others, I, I don't know, can't remember if some of them get that new, they, they might. Um, but, uh, here's the thing, just like with Riverside, Redlands is not a cheap city, definitely not on the south end of the city. So to get those larger properties, I, I honestly, I do not believe you're going to find anything less than $800,000 here. In fact, actually the majority of them are probably going to be up in the 900,000. 
Um, you know, the homes are probably going to be a little bit larger, a little bit uh, larger in terms of the size. Uh, but again, if you're looking for a home with land, if, if you know, seven, eight thousand square feet of land, if, if you know, that, that's not enough, I, I, I need more, then this definitely is another area to look at. Just again, this is probably, I don't know if this is the best word to use, uh, of those large lots, it's maybe the, the luxury option, you know. Sorry if, if that's maybe a poor word to use, uh, but you know, it, it's probably better described in, in terms of that. But um, again, beautiful area. And, and the nice thing here, too, is if we go back here and into it. So, you know, again, you're, you're down here, you're over here and you're saying, hey, I want to go do some shopping. I want to get a Big Mac. You, boop, you're right there. You're right into the heart of town. You know, in fact, downtown Redlands is literally right there. You know, McDonald's is right in there. Go get yourself a Big Mac. Go get yourself a, a burrito, a Taco Bell, whatever it is. But um, in fact, Target, uh, Target's a little further. It's over here on the other side. But um, you know, you, you can go do your shopping, and and again, you're not that far away. You're you're really kind of more in the city, I, I would say, with this one. Um, and some of these, as you just saw when I when I kind of looked in uh, the Warner area down in this area. I mean, that, that's probably a little less quote unquote city, but you're still. Bam, you're right there. Yeah, in fact, look at that. University of Redlands is literally right there. So it's not like you're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, that, I think, is probably why you're definitely going to spend a little bit more if you are looking at Redlands. But these are areas that you can definitely look at here in the Inland Empire. If you are looking to buy a home, but you want land, you, you want space, you don't want to uh, wake up in the morning and holler at your neighbor, hey, you know, you got some more TP over there, right? And they reach out and they hand you a roll. Uh, you're you're going to have land. You're going to have space. You're, you're not going to have neighbors right on top of you. You're, you're going to have that one or two acres of, of land that, uh, we'll be honest, I, I mean, it's not easy to come by, not, not around here. I mean, it's pretty pretty well developed, the uh, Inland Empire now. So most of the homes here are, are not going to have that, but these are some that will. Of course, if you do have any questions at all, or if you are thinking about buying or selling a home here in, or just anywhere near the Inland Empire, my contact information is below. Feel free to reach out. Otherwise, until then, catch you on the next one.